Hello, Forecaster here again, and we are back for episode 17. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Reports from concerned supervisors indicate that rates of time theft are on the rise. We urge all of our listeners to remember that lack of productivity is not a victimless crime. Workers should be on the lookout for slacking and underperformance. Report anyone you suspect of time theft to your supervisor immediately. This story brought to you by House... Right. So, we are back for some more The Outer Worlds. And now I need to... Oh, there's a workbench here somewhere. There it is. Uh, need to find our way down... Can I mod this? Uh, plasma, eh, shock, mm, maybe. Yeah, we could have shock, sniper rifle. I don't see why not. Uh, I don't need that. Guessing that would replace the other one. Extendo site. Uh, sure, that's an upgrade. Don't. Well, it already has that, and we don't have any site mods left. A couple bit more zoom. Kind of wish I had a magazine extension mod, but oh well. Ah, this elevator probably goes to the back base. Yeah, it's a transition too, so we'll save, which is probably a good thing. Oh. Well, outlaw. They aren't hostile. Um, I could use a bit of a nap, but. Are you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. No sudden movements. This guy's crazy, even by my standards. Sure. Hello. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Burning to death is one of the most painful ways to go, just in case you needed a reason to get us out of this. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Okay. Well, I don't have persuade or intimidate 40. Unfortunately. Well, probably gonna kill him anyway. Ow. Well, that didn't go well. Uh, let's try that again. Although I might want to go back to the ship and sleep for a bit before going down there. I think it's too late to get another level up and get my 
persuasion or intimidation up to 40. Well, if I got another level up, I could do that. And I'm slightly more than halfway there. But also, uh, I don't know if there's enough experience to be had left here that doesn't involve going down to the back bays. This adventuring is tiring work. collectibles are such a human inclination. Let's talk to Ada about the Sam stuff, see if she has any idea about that. How can I be of assistance? Uh, I'd like to continue our conversation from before. Alex Hawthorne today. I am feeling... Discombobulated. Was there another topic on your mind? Okay. Well, I'm wondering about his improvements. Ninety-eight 98.4% of the ship's processes to my computer, thereby giving me near total control. I have been programmed to deftly calculate navigation vectors through asteroid fields while also operating our ship's toasters. Alex also taught me the concept of a personality. He was quite delighted when I crafted one in order to better engage with him. It was basic in the beginning. Okay, well I kind of like her personality. The information in my memory banks says I am an autonomous digital astrogator created by, redacted, on the date of, redacted, for the express purpose of, Redacted. I have not yet decided if I should attempt to uncover the missing information regarding my birth. I asked once. Alex did not build me, and would not say who did. Huh. How can I be of assistance? Okay, let's see about this distress call. Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... there's viscera and death. Everywhere, gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no, 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 no. Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Hmm. Here. Right. Where was that? Ah, the roseway. I guess we could we could go there. Uh do that thing and then probably level up. And that would give me enough skill points to get up to uh, 40 in the social skills. Yeah, let's, let's do that. I don't see why not. We'll go there first and then we'll sleep. Not exactly how orbits work, but okay. Why do you have a thing on you? Well, let's talk with Ellie first. Since she asked. This roadway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call. And whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. Uh, probably, yeah. Do you know anything about who sent the call? What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. 
Okay. Why wouldn't they just call for corporate reinforcements? With a lot of these companies, the thrashing you take from your boss is worse than whatever a bunch of marauders will do to you. It doesn't exactly encourage calling for aid when there's a fuck up. Yeah. Well, it could be a trap. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. Right. Yeah. Oh no. Ah. Dang it. Need to talk to you. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Sure. So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages, I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it, because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good, but real sweet. Hmm. Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. Well, there might be something there. Who knows? I don't know if you're that or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Yeah. When folks start implying you're a little different from an auto mechanical, you start to wonder. I guess I just needed to talk. I'm feeling a touch better. Thanks for hearing me out, Captain. I actually had another message from June Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm going to change that. Right now. Okay. Here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends. Got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... Who's Isabel? They were... Close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Well, we're gonna go back there later. But... I think maybe you should talk to her. Maybe for you. I start thinking about all the things she could say and my guts start crawling up my throat. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. Okay. Well, I guess we're doing that next time we head over there. Uh, but for now, we're going to head out to the, was it called? Whatever this side of the planet was called, Roseway. I'm not? Well, that's unfortunate. I do need to take a nap first, though. I almost forgot that. I uh, don't think I can do anything with you. yet 
So let's have a sleep, then we'll have some eat and drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cigarettes, probably not great. Uh, nicotine. Uh. Is good. There we go. Almost at a level up. Uh, let's head out. Take Ellie and Pravati with us. Because why not? No security. Not that I'm complaining. Hmm. I can take a hint. What? Oh. Well, let's head down there, I suppose, and see what's up. Or town. Got some vending machines, but there's nothing I really need those for at the moment. Don't see it. Something with more teeth than is strictly necessary. Ow. Ooh. Level 11 armor. Uh, who's them? Oh, the... The person. I guess you can't really tell if it's a he or a she or whatever. That makes sense. Uh... Well, that has a negative to stealth skills, so I'm not going to put that on. Might find a higher level armor later, which doesn't have that drawback. Uh, there's a damaged forklift robot there. Hmm. Mass him up. What? what? Nailed him, Captain. No problem. Come back here. Oof. That was a bit close. Well, these things look nasty. Food and drink to sell these nicotine things because I don't care about them in the slightest. Oh, hello. Old journal. Dad, I'm writing this on the odds that you found your way back here. I'm sorry I wasn't here to see you. They're moving us out of town, all of us. I don't know where we're going, hoping that wherever it is, they've got a lab as nice as Roseway's. 
We were doing some good work, real science for once. I don't know why they're moving us, and I don't know when we'll see each other again. And Dad, do me a favor and burn this journal. I'm not allowed to even mention the name Roseway. As far as corp corporate's concerned, this town never existed. I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. Maybe you shouldn't have used... Well, I suppose dad is better than using his actual name. Ooh, headless scientist, huh? Flamethrower. Interesting. End of the road. Literally. Uh, suppose we'll switch the quest to this one, the relevant one. Warning. Passing obstruction. Hmm. Well, I have a lot of mag picks, so. Well, we got one mag pick back. This looks like some kind of... Oh, it's the wall. Hmm. Well. Yeah, I don't think that's an employee. Kind of wish I could shut this thing down, but I can't. Unfortunately. Uh, let's go over our weapons and make sure they're in good condition. Ah. Uh, well, let's repair all equipped. Whatever. Ooh. Uh, no more buildings we can enter. It's a wall that goes around there. Well, I'm not particularly sad about that, honestly. There's a bit of a path here. Take him down. Yep, you did well. Glad I took both of them with me. There's the big one. Didn't have anything, but oh well. Got some experience. Almost thought that rock was a creature at first. Ah, there's more things down there. Let's just head inside, I guess. Uh, 
and see what happens. Burke. Hello. I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Okay. Somehow, I'm not reassured, Captain. Yeah, you and me both, ma'am. Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Um, forget I said anything about that. Well, that's not suspicious at all. Wish they tasted like sissy pig. <laughs> Them's good eating. You're a bit simple, aren't you? Don't mention it. Anything else you'd like to know? Distress call from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Okay. Anti Cleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Helcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap spacer's choice pedals. That slogan could use some work, I think. Hmm. These little things are everywhere, aren't they? Empty bins. How unfortunate. Hmm. Seems to be about the same size as Edgewater. Corporate recruit. Ha, indeed. Shaft runs from the bottom of the lab to the top of the hill over the garage. Top of the hill's rafted on territory. Sit down. I don't need to do it myself. I can stay here if you want. So you'd send someone else on your damn fool mission? Well. I told you, you're staying put. You're not listening. We can stop this. Only thing stopping them beasts is high caliber kinetics. Uh, if we close the vent shaft, we can contain them. Okay, well, I guess we don't get an actual conversation about that. We just get that little hint. Hello, Orson Shaw. You were on the list. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. Well, we're not here to kill you. Oh, you want with the outlaws? Who are you then? Uh, well, let's not mention the distress call. Oh, well, good luck. 
Now, if we got the carpet in here, it's just a matter of... Ah, Orson, you idiot. Just put it... Ah, of course, because I didn't... Okay. It's, we're gonna get this solved. I mean, it's it's. Well, uh, we are going to pick this up in the next episode. So, I will see you then.